Hello, I wanted to give you a brief rundown of uh, the wood that we're putting into our Hugo culture mounts. Uh, we were lucky enough that we had a number of large logs sitting on our property when we got here, and so those are all going in uh, to the mounds. Uh, and what you want to be putting into your Hugo culture mound are old, decaying pieces of wood. So let's take a look here uh, at a pile at our piles of wood and you can see this stuff's been kind of sitting on the ground and is already ready to kind of act as a sponge as well as kind of uh you, you know you can put your finger right into that and if that had any any water on it uh it would go right in sponge up uh, so that's one one reason you want the wood to be kind of uh, old and decaying is because it sponges up that water as well um, you don't want new wood can tend to steal a bit more nitrogen and take a little bit longer to break down. So, uh, and our chickens are fighting in the background. Those are our pastured broilers. Um, but yeah, you need you need a fair quantity of wood. So, not only did we have a lot of wood here, um, but we also took uh, some trees down this uh, this winter. And with those trees and the stuff that wasn't really solid or fresh enough for firewood we are going to bury um, so this isn't uh, this isn't at all even though it looks like a lot we're gonna have to grab a few more uh, larger larger pieces which are still on the property with the excavator when it gets here to bury um, but that's and I think types of wood yeah let's talk about that briefly uh, you know we've got anything from birch obviously a lot of alder I think we have some some cottonwood probably in here as well uh, and and some maple um, and I think there are probably no wrong types of wood as long as they're old and not fresh uh, you don't want to be burying things that could be uh, regrowing that you don't want to regrow in your in your mounds um, but yeah we've I think diversity is always good so we've put in everything that we essentially can find Obviously, no. Uh, we have no evergreen here, no cedar or fir or anything like that. All right. Well, that's a. Uh, and again, uh, one last comment here: uh, large pieces, and medium pieces, and small pieces. That's kind of uh, diversity is always, always going to help you out. Okay, that's a rundown of our our wood. Quick shot of our second pile of wood, uh, which we're hoping will. We'll go into the second Hugo culture, but uh, there's potential that uh, we won't have enough in our first, and uh, this, this, some of this will have to move up to up to the uh, the first Hugo. So we'll see if we get to make two today, or if it'll just be one. Um, Remy wants to say hi. Say hi, Remy. Hi. Hi. Anyway, that's our second pile of. Hugo Ultrawood, looking all ready to be buried.